safe and effective care environment. Number 6. Question 1. What are the needs of the patient with acute lymphocytic leukemia and thrombocytopenia? Needed info, lymphocytic leukemia, disease characterized by proliferation of immature WBCs. Immature cells unable to fight infection as competently as mature white cells. Treatment, chemotherapy, antibiotics, blood transfusions, bone marrow transplantation. Nursing responsibilities, private room, no raw fruits or veggies small frequent meals, O2, good skin care, A, to a private room so she will not infect other patients and healthcare workers, poses little or no threat, B, to a private room so she will not be infected by other patients and healthcare workers, C, to a semi-private room so she will have stimulation during her hospitalization, should be placed in a room alone, D, to a semi-private room so she will have the opportunity to express her feelings about her illness, ensure the patient is provided with opportunities to express feelings about illness. The correct answer is B, protects patient from exogenous bacteria, risk for developing infection from others due to depressed WBC count, alters ability to fight infection. Question 2. What is the best way to prevent accidental poisoning in children? Strategy. Picture toddlers at play. A. Lock all medications in a cabinet. B. Child-proof all the caps to medication bottles, children can open. C. Store medications on the highest shelf in a cupboard, toddlers climb. D. Place medications in different containers, keep an original container. The correct answer is A, improper storage most common cause of poisoning, highest incidence in two-year-olds. Question 3, what is the correct universal precaution? Strategy, think about each answer choice. How is each measure protecting the nurse? Needed info, mask, eye protection, face shield protect mucous membrane exposure. Used if activities are likely to generate splash or sprays. Gowns used if activities are likely to generate splashes or sprays. A. Gloves, gown, goggles, and surgical cap. Surgical caps offer protection to hair but aren't required. B. Sterile gloves, mask, plastic bags, and gown. Plastic bags provide no direct protection and aren't part of universal precautions. C. Gloves gown, mask, and goggles. D. Double gloves, goggles, mask, and surgical cap. Surgical cap not required, unnecessary to double glove. The correct answer is C. Must use universal precautions on all patients. Prevent skin and mucous membrane exposure when contact with blood or other body fluids is anticipated. Question 4. What is the best position after tonsillectomy to help with drainage of oral secretions? Strategy. Picture the patient as described. A. Sims, on side with top knee flexed and thigh drawn up to chest and lower knee less sharply flexed, used for vaginal or rectal examination. B. Side lying. C. Supine, increased risk for aspiration, would not facilitate drainage of oral secretions. D. Prone, risk for airway obstruction and aspiration, unable to observe the child for signs of bleeding such as increased swallowing. Question 3. What is the correct universal precaution? Strategy. Think about each answer choice. How is each measure protecting the nurse? Needed info. Question 5. Which patient is an appropriate assignment for the LPN, LVN? Strategy, think about the skill level involved in each patient's care. Needed info, LPN slash LVN, assists with implementation of care, performs procedures, differentiates normal from abnormal, cares for stable patients with predictable conditions, has knowledge of asepsis and dressing changes, 
administers medications varies with educational background and state nurse practice act. A. A 72-year-old patient with diabetes who requires a dressing change for a stasis ulcer. B. A 42-year-old patient with cancer of the bone complaining of pain, requires assessment, RN is the appropriate caregiver. C. A 55-year-old patient with terminal cancer being transferred to hospice home care, requires nursing judgment, RN is the appropriate caregiver. D. A 23-year-old patient with a fracture of the right leg who asks to use the urinal, standard unchanging procedure, assigned to the nursing assistant. Question 4. What is the best position after tonsillectomy to help with drainage of oral secretions? Question 6. The fetus is row. Where should the nurse listen for the FHT? Strategy. Picture the situation described. It may be helpful for you to draw this out so that you can imagine where the heartbeat would be found. Needed info. Describing fetal position. Practice of defining position of baby relative to mother's pelvis. The point of maximum intensity PMI of the fetus, point on the mother's abdomen where the FHT is the loudest, usually over the fetal back. Divide the mother's pelvis into four parts or quadrants, right and left anterior, which is the front, and right and left posterior, which is the back. Abbreviated, R and del for right and left, and A and P for anterior and posterior. The head, particularly the occiput, is the most common presenting part, and is abbreviated O. Low is most common fetal position and FHT heard on left side. In a vertex presentation, FHT is heard below the umbilicus. In a breech presentation, FHT is heard above the umbilicus. A. Below the umbilicus, on the mother's left side, found on right not left side. B. Below the umbilicus, on the mother's right side. C. Above the umbilicus, on the mother's left side, found in breech presentation. D. Above the umbilicus, on the mother's right side, found in breech presentation. The answer is B. Occiput and back are pressing against right side of mother's abdomen. FHT would be heard below umbilicus on right side. Question 7. What is a contraindication to receiving flu vaccine? Strategy. Think about what each answer choice means. Needed info. Influenza vaccine, given yearly, preferably October to November, recommended for people age 65 or older, people under 65 with heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, immunosuppression. Chronic Care Facility Residents A. A 45-year-old male who is allergic to shellfish, allergy to eggs is a contraindication. B. A 60-year-old female who says she has a sore throat. C. A 66-year-old female who lives in a group home, vaccine deferred only if patient has an active immunization. D. A 70-year-old female with congestive heart failure, no contraindication. The correct answer is B. Vaccine deferred in presence of acute respiratory disease. Question 8. What is the treatment for thrush? Strategy. Determine the outcome of each answer choice. Needed info. Thrush oral candidiasis, white plaque on oral mucous membranes, gums, or tongue. Treatment includes good hand washing, nistatin and mycostatin. A. Determine the baby's blood glucose level, thrush in newborns caused by poor hand washing or exposure to an infected vagina during birth. B. Suggest that the newborn's formula be changed, not related to thrush. C. Remind the caretaker not to let the infant sleep with the bottle, not related to thrush. D. Explain that the newborn will need to receive some medication. Question 6. The fetus is Rho. The correct answer is D. Thrush most often treated with nistatin and mycostatin. Question 9. What will you see with congenital hip dislocation? Strategy. 
form a mental image of the deformity. Needed info, subluxation, most common type of congenital hip dislocation. Head of femur remains in contact with acetabulum but is partially displaced. Diagnosed in infant less than 4 weeks old S slash S, unlevel gluteal folds, limited abduction of hip, shortened femur affected side, autolanes sign click. Treatment, abduction splint, hip spiker cast, Bryant traction, open reduction. A. Lengthening of the limb on the affected side, inaccurate. B. Deformities of the foot and ankle, inaccurate. C. Asymmetry of the gluteal and thigh folds. D. Plantar flexion of the foot, seen with club foot. Question 7. What is a contraindication? Question 8. What is the treatment for thrush? Strategy. Determine the outcome of each. Question 10. How do you determine the frequency of uterine contractions? Needed info, there must be at least three contractions to establish frequency. A. From the beginning of one contraction to the end of the next contraction, not accurate. B. From the beginning of one contraction to the end of the same contraction, defines duration. C. By the strength of the contraction at its peak, describes intensity. D. By the number of contractions that occur within a given period of time. The correct answer is D. Question 11. What is the goal of family therapy? Needed info, symptoms of depression, a low self-esteem, obsessive thoughts, regressive behavior, unkempt appearance, a lack of energy, weight loss, decreased concentration, withdrawn behavior. A. Trust the nurse who will solve his problem not realistic. B. Learn to live with anxiety and tension, minimizes concerns. C. Accept responsibility for his actions and choices. D. Use the members of the therapeutic milieu to solve his problems, must do it himself. The correct answer is D. Question 12. What is your responsibility concerning informed consent? Needed info. Physician's responsibility to obtain informed consent. A. The nurse should explain the procedure to the patient and ask her to sign the consent form. Physician should get patient to sign consent. B. The nurse should verify that the consent form has been signed by the patient and that it is attached to her chart. C. The nurse should tell the physician that the patient agrees to have the examination. Physician should explain procedure and get consent form signed. D. The nurse should verify that the patient or a family member has signed the consent form, must be signed by patient unless unable to do. The correct answer is C. Must use universal precaution. Question 13. What should you do to communicate with a person with a moderate hearing loss? Needed info. Presbycusis, age-related hearing loss due to inner ear changes. Decreased ability to hear high sounds. A. Raise your voice until the patient is able to hear you, would result in high tones patient unable to hear. B. Face the patient and speak quickly using a high voice, usually unable to hear high tones. C. Face the patient and speak slowly using a slightly lowered voice. D. Use facial expressions and speak as you would normally. Nonverbal cues help, but need low tones. The correct answer is D. Question 8. What is the treatment for thrush? Strategy. Determine the outcome of each answer choice. Needed info. Thrush oral candidiasis. White plaque on oral mucous membranes, gums, or tongue. Treatment includes good hand washing, nistate and mycostatin. A. Determine the baby's blood glucose level. 
rush in newborns caused by poor hand washing or exposure to an infected vagina during birth. B. Suggest that the newborn's formula be changed, not related to thrush. C. Remind the caretaker not to let the infant sleep with the bottle, not related to thrush. D. Explain that the newborn will need to receive. The correct answer is A. Improper storage most common cause of poisoning, highest incidence in two-year-olds. The correct answer is D. The correct answer is D. Question 8. What is the treatment for thrush? Strategy. Determine the outcome of each answer choice. The correct answer is B. Nephrotoxic, will see proteinuria, oligria, hematuria, thirst, increased burn, decreased creatine clearance. Question 12. What is your responsibility concerning informed consent? Needed info. Physician's responsibility to obtain informed consent. A. The nurse should explain the procedure to the patient and ask her to sign the consent form. Physician should get patient to sign consent. B. The nurse should verify that the consent form has been signed by the patient and that it is attached to her chart. C. The nurse should tell the physician that the patient agrees to have the examination. Physician should explain procedure and get consent form signed. D. The nurse should verify that the patient or a family member has signed the consent form, must be signed by patient unless unable to do. The correct answer is A. Low platelet increases risk of bleeding from even minor injuries. Safety measures. Shave with an electric razor. Use soft toothbrush. Avoid square or meds and invasive procedures. Urinary drainage catheter or a nasogastric tube. Side rails up. Remove sharp objects. Frequently assess for signs of bleeding, bruising, hemorrhage.
The correct answer is C. Must use universal precautions on all patients. Prevent skin and mucous membrane exposure when contact with blood or other body fluids is and safe and effective care environment number 6. The correct answer is B. Allows sound node to resume as pacer of heart activity. Question 20. How should you regulate the four flow rate? Strategy. Use formula and avoid making math errors. Needed info. Total volume x the drop factor divided by the total time in minutes. A. 21. Inaccurate. B. 28. Inaccurate. C. 31. Inaccurate. D. 42. Inaccurate. The correct answer is C. Must use universal. The correct answer is B. Nephrotoxic, or C. Proteinuria, oligria, hematuria, thirst, increased burn, decreased creatine clearance. The correct answer is A. Improper storage most common cause of poisoning, highest incidence in two-year-olds. Question 22. A client with a closed head injury is receiving from Etone Delantin, an anticonvulsant medication. Which of the following would indicate that the client is experiencing side effects related to this medication? Select all that apply. A. Ataxia. B. Sedation. C. Constipation. D. Bleeding gums. E. Hyperglycemia. F. Decreased platelet count. Answer. The correct answer are C, D, E, and F. Delantin causes blood discretias, such as decreased platelet counts and decreased white blood cell counts. It contributes to constipation as well. Gingival hyperplasia can occur, causing gums to bleed easily and blood glucose levels can elevate when taking phenytoin. Sedation is a side effect of barbiturates, not phenytoin. Ataxia is a side effect of benzodiazepines. Question 20. How should you regulate the four flow rate? Strategy. Use formula and avoid making math errors. Needed info. Total volume x the drop factor divided by the total time in minutes. A. 21. Inaccurate. B. 28. Inaccurate. C. 31. Inaccurate. D. 42. Inaccurate. Uh. 
Answer. The correct answer are A, B, D, and F. Cancer is a common cause of side. In clients with side, excessive amounts of water are reabsorbed by the kidney and put into the systemic circulation. The increased water causes hyponatremia, decreased serum sodium levels and some degree of fluid retention. SIAD is managed by treating the condition and its cause, and treatment usually includes fluid restriction, increased sodium intake, and a medication with a mechanism of action that is antagonistic to ADH. Sodium levels are monitored closely, because hyponatremia can suddenly develop as a result of treatment. The immediate institution of appropriate cancer therapy usually either radiation or chemotherapy can cause tumor regression so that ADH synthesis and release processes return to normal. Question 20. How should you regulate the four flow rate? Strategy. Use formula and avoid making math errors. Needed info. Total volume x the drop factor divided by the total time in minutes. A. 21. Inaccurate. B. 28. Inaccurate. C. 31. Inaccurate. D. 42. Inaccurate. Question 10. How do you determine the frequency of uterine contractions? Needed info. There must be at least three contractions to establish frequency. A. From the beginning of one contraction to the end of the next contraction, not accurate. B. From the beginning of one contraction to the end of the same contraction, defines duration. C. By the strength of the contraction at its peak, describes intensity. D by the number of contractions that occur within a given period of time. Answer. The correct answer are A, B, and D. A focused data collection process focuses on a limited or short-term problem, such as the client's complaint. Because the client is complaining of symptoms of a cold, a cough, and lung congestion the nurse would focus on the respiratory system and the presence of an infection. A complete data collection includes a complete health history and physical examination and forms a baseline database. Checking the strength of peripheral pulses relates to a vascular assessment which is not related to this client's complaints. A musculoskeletal and neurological examination also is not related to this client's complaints. However, strength of peripheral pulses and a musculoskeletal and neurological examination would be included in a complete data collection. Likewise, asking the client about a family history of any illness or disease would be included in a complete assessment. Answer. The correct answer are A, B, D, and F. 